Welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pick Brain, here today on Times Now, and you're watching Tata Crucible for Campuses 2020, the Bengaluru final. Sometimes it just does not get bigger than this. These are those kind of cities which sometimes makes you feel probably watching a national final. Teams more than capable of putting up a show at that level. Let's first meet the teams and then get into our game here today at Tata Crucible. Twenty-six questions. Twenty of them will appear on your screen, six of them from me. Plus fifty, you get it right. Minus fifty, you get it wrong. We are celebrating a 4.0 environment, which the industry keeps speaking about. What are the four elements that you, at your age, as students of universities and colleges, should be cognizant of that will help you get into a 4.0 world when you enter that soon enough. We begin with what we call ahead of the curve. Here it comes. First question to get started with our final, hands on the buzzer. Identify this commissioner from the history of the Mysore city. They've gone for it as PES University. Identify this commissioner. It's Lord Cobbon. Fantastic first answer. Question two. There we go. The chapters are named... Freakonomics. Freakonomics. How is the Ku Klux Klan is a chapter like a group of real estate agents? Why do drug dealers still live with their moms? The answer, Freakonomics plus 50. Put your hands together for them. Well played. As we go to the next one, on your screens, now, what connects these six people? Oh, PS University, bang, again on the buzzer. What connects these people? These are the Infosys Award winners of this year. Excellent. Oh, excellent quizzing. As we go on to the next one, overall answer is what matters. On your screen, careful, lateral thinking, here it comes. Giving it a go, yes. Young team from PES. Uh, is this the Mozilla group? Mozilla. Plus 50. <laughs> Young team playing the game well. 50 to them. Mozilla is absolutely right as we move uh, into the second frontier. But for now, we need to go into a very quick break. All the action from the Bangalore final on the other side. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Bengaluru final of Tata Crucible for Campuses 2020. A very quick look at where the teams stand. As we move into the second frontier of our game here today, after leadership, it's about analytics. Life is all about information and data. But what do you make of it? 
That's what you need to learn at your age. In the context of a quiz, we look at it as from data to answers. Here it comes. First one coming up on your screen. Here we go. It's a three stacked line graphic which represents a navigation on your mobile when you see this food item. Yes, they're going for it. Yeah, the hamburger menu. This opens up a navigation pane for anything else. So you just, the three lines on the right. Just three lines represents a hamburger. Yeah, hamburger menu. Put your hands together. <laughs> Lovely, well played. As we go on to the next one on your screens, now. Mac Fisheries was a branded retail store in the United Kingdom. It was set up by Lord Coolmay following his purchase of Scottish Islands, which was essentially with Lewis and Harris. How does the world know Lord Coolmay better? Oh, someone's going for it. Jane University. Is it Carrefour? Carrefour. Minus 50 to you on that. None trying on a second attempt. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is the Unilever Group. Gets its name from Lord Lever Hulme, which later became Unilever, William Lever, the person that I was talking for. They started out here with sunlight soap, and like they say, the rest is history. Tough one for Bangalore as we go to the next one on your screen. Now, which group in India, Kisan, 1935. United Breweries Group, UB Group. Better known for their breweries owned Kisan, plus 50. Well played, good answer. As we go to the next one on your screens, now. It's a sports network operated by Discovery. Identify it. Say D Sports. Minus 50. None trying on a second attempt. The answer that I'm looking for is Eurosport. The E there is very evident for you in that logo, owned by Discovery, operated by Discovery. As we go to the next one, here we go. His name is Francesco Illy. In 1935, he invented something called Ileta. I-L-L-E-T-T-A. It's considered to be the blueprint of a machine that is used even to this day. And many of us enjoy the output that his machine gives, essentially out of a simple technology of pressing. His name, Francesco Ileta. Christ are giving it an attempt. The toast maker, so the bread would go in and elevate, so that's why he called it Ileta. Toast maker, minus 50. Taking a shot on table number one, Jane. Is it bubble wrap? Bubble wrap, minus 50. Espresso means you press it out. We all go to coffee shops and say espresso coffee. What it means is press it out for me. And that's what you're asking for when you go and ask for espresso. As we go to the next one on screen, now. Founded in 2004, they own famous studios, TT Games, Rocksteady, Netherrealm, Monolith. The company has just two letters and is famous for its gaming division. While the company is perhaps even better known as an entertainment giant. They've gone for it on table number five. P.S. Yeah. Entertainment giant, I said. Minus 50. <laughs> table number two. We'll say Warner Bros. Warner w Brothers. WB, yes, w w WB Games. Put your hands together. Well played. <laughs> Warner Brothers has invested heavily in the gaming business. And WB Games is from Warner Brothers Entertainment. As we go to the next one on your screens, now. He was president of the Indian Hockey Federation for 15 years. He was at the helm when the Indian hockey team won the gold in 48, 52, 56. There's a famous hockey tournament in India that's a tribute to this man from the Tatas. They've gone for it. It's a Dorabji Tata. Minus 50. Minus 50 on Dorabji Tata. The girls are giving it a try. Go ahead. Dhyan Chand. 
Well, that's not from the Tata. He led one of those teams. Minus 50 to you. The answer that I'm looking for, Naval Tata. As we go to the next one. On screen. Here we go. Same person at 57. The same person at 82. He set up what was called the Body Contrology Studio in Manhattan. He is a gymnast legend. Gold's gym. Who's he? Minus 50. Minus 50 on that I was describing him. He's a gymnast legend. Not so much of a bodybuilding legend alone. Tough questions at Bangalore. This is the famous Joseph Pilat, which is why... In the world of sport, in gymnasts, Pilat is an extremely respected name. As we go to the next one on your screen, here we go. It's a digital campaign by a company which is today getting into biometric locks at home. The company has made a huge amount of fortune creating locking systems as a vertical. Who are we talking about in India? The, the Godrej Group. They've Godrej? Become smart. Yeah. Yeah, they've Plus 50. Well played by PES, taking a chance as we go to the next one. Lateral thinking. Careful before you hit the buzzer. Here we go. Yes? That's the word. That's the word ears. Okay, what ears? So that looks like the Badravati Iron Core or whatever that is. So that looks like the logo which they found uh, of an aeroplane over there. So the Wadiyas actually initially funded with the Tata's the HAL in Bangalore at that time. So which was later acquired is what my understanding is. And nationalized as HAL. So yeah. So your answer is HAL. Yeah. Can you give me a little more than that? Uh, Tata Airlines, HAL was the one with helping with the planes and so servicing. So... 1935 on, so I'll go with Tata Airline. Minus 50. Minus 50. <laughs> Giving it a shot is PES. So the, the logo is of NAL, National yeah. Aeronautics Lab, which is in Bangalore. No, so, yeah, or uh, we'll say that is uh, the World Religious Convention, Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda. Right? Go on. He spoke to Tata about setting up of IASC. So what's ISC got to do with... What he has provided the land for it, encouraged all that. And aeronautics. NAL, HAL? The aeronautics in India was, again... They have a lab there or something. NAL and HAL would not have happened in India if Indian Institute of Science had not happened before that. Put your hands together. Fantastically played. The drift was to see if you can go backwards from NAL and HAL. Extremely well played. We're going to take a look at where the teams stand on the other side of this break. Allow me a very quick break. The final frontier on the other side, the Bangalore final. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a look at the Crucible quotient from the Bengaluru final of Tata Crucible. As we move to the penultimate frontier, the third pillar that we are looking at, leadership by showing the way. Here it comes. Starting with the first one, question on your screen, here we go. He had earned an Isaac Newton scholarship thanks to his academic performances at Cambridge. He did not want to take up the offer to teach at Cambridge, returned to India, and a special post was given to him in Bangalore at Indian Institute of Science. However, he soon started working on cosmic rays. Who is this from the history of India? RVCE? You're guessing it's Subramaniam Chandrasekhar. Minus 50. Extraordinarily famous man in India. None trying on a second attempt. Well, the great homie Baba is what I was talking about here today. And the team's missing out on that opportunity. As we go to the next one on your screens, now. Started in 1851 by Amory Houghton. 
This is a huge company that focuses on glass. Okay, so this is Corning. Corning. They, they make uh, sc like screens and stuff uh, which are uh, tough and hard to scratch, break, etc. Answer. Corning. Plus 50. Put your hands together for them. They'll get a 50. As we go to the next one. Here we go. This man's name is Thomas Bracken. He was an Irish-born poet from New Zealand. He was also a journalist. He wrote one of the two national anthems of New Zealand. He was the first person in the world to describe New Zealand with three words. Those three words are very famous in India as well. How did he describe New Zealand? God's own country. Which even Kerala is. Which Kerala uses right now. Was never created for Kerala. It was actually created for New Zealand as God's own country. Plus 50. A fantastic answer. As we go to the next one. On your screen's overall answer is an individual. Here we go. Uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Pixar, and then the that's the camp, Cupertino campus of Apple. And what's special? What's happening there? Uh, he died for the flag uh, when he it's passed at away. Half the half, half it's a rare occasion when a flag is flown at half mast for a non-leader individual in the United States. Put your hands together. <laughs> Steve Jobs will give them a 50. One final frontier to go here today, which is smart decisions on the go. Here it comes. Six questions on a new world called DOTG. I read out questions or stories to you. You decide when you want to take a smart decision and stop me from reading the question further. You get it right with your smart decision, plus 50. You get it wrong, I continue reading the question for the remaining five teams. So that's the risk you run. Starting with the first one. They operate in businesses that is almost in every space. Aviation, healthcare, renewable energy, oil and gas, appliances. They went on to purchase the Chinese company here. They're going for it on my right is PES. Here's uh, General Electric. G is associated with here. General Electric plus 50. No nonsense quizzing by PES University as we go to the next one. In 1934, it was dubbed as the hit food of the century that was in progress. They were handed out by the Red Cross during World War II. The Red Cross actually created stations for soldiers which offered free coffee and this dish. <coughs> Taking a shot on table number one, Jane University, what food item am I describing? Donuts or like bagels, like donuts. Put your hands together. <laughs> As we go to final three questions, here's the next one. Originally, its founder considered illustrated book covers to be a bad idea. He therefore borrowed the idea of using color-coded covers from an Anglo-German publisher called Albatross. The colors that were used were orange for fiction, green for crime, blue for biography. Amar Chitrakata. Minus 50. These colors continued to stay as this publishing house produced different books. Penguin. Plus 50. No nonsense quizzing. 50 on a penguin. Two questions to go. Here's the next one. In the world of software design, it's now officially called L and F applications. It refers to graphical user interfaces where design elements begin to play a role. What is an L and F programmer? <coughs> Going for it on my left is RVCE. I'm guessing, is it look and feel? So the look and feel programmer. So how it looks, how will the app feel? How does it look, interface, etc. Put your hands together. Very good. <laughs> Clever. One final question. Here we go. Dating back to the First World War, when a Marathi-speaking community with native skills in tailoring and stitching came into this place in Karnataka, 
they started stitching uniforms for soldiers from the colonial British Indian Army. The material they used for these army people was so good that over a period of time, when the British left, they actually transformed the place. Okay, so this is the, the Indian flag. They used this material to make the Indian flag. They used the material to create Indian flags. Yeah. Minus 50. Continuing with the question, because of the strength of the material, this city became extremely popular for its own variety of jeans from Karnataka. Yes, they're giving it a shot. Ballari jeans, so mining city, so they needed the jeans. The British left, the mines required jeans. So Ballari started producing jeans for their miners. Plus 50. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, time for us to take a look at the final scores here today. On your screens, here it comes. It's indeed my pleasure and privilege to welcome in front of you our guest of honor here today, the MD and CEO of Tata LXC, Mr. Manoj Raghavan. Manoj, if you could join us on stage, please. Thank you so much for your time. You know, the Tata Group definitely stands for you know, innovation, and a lot of our companies are uh, in, in the information and you know, uh, knowledge okay. industry. So uh, this quizzing culture definitely helps. And uh, I hope to see at least a few of these good talent in our company. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after that remarkable final that you witnessed here today from Bengaluru, a former national champion of this quiz continues their trail to regain that title. PES University from Bangalore with Akhil and Preetham will march ahead from here. <laughs> Equally significant to good cities like this is the rise of a young talent in the form of our runner-up here today, Suchet and Chandrachu, just out of class 12, finishing a runner-up title. That's a big achievement at something like a Tata Crucible. While we will come back to you a week from now with another city, another set of questions, another set of teams. But all of that a week from now. Till then, from me, Pick Brain, from all of us here today at Times Now, you were watching Tata Crucible. Good evening and goodbye.